Yo guys, welcome to your boy King so you back with another video. Before we get into this video, I just want to remind you all to the other kings and queens. And I hope you all are having a very, very blessed day. And I'm back with another Giants franchise episode. In three days, a new series should be starting with LMB The Show coming out. So look forward to that. Some road to the show and some franchise. I'm looking forward to it because it's coming back to Xbox. And the last time I played LMB The Show was probably like four or five years ago when I had a PlayStation. Now I'm on Xbox, of course. But yes, we have the Giants franchise back. 4-0 Giants against the 3-1 Packers. I'm almost done with my semester, my last semester of college. I'm almost done. So once that finishes in like two weeks, I'm going to be cranking out videos like every single day. Like I'm literally just going to like have work, which I don't work that often. I'm going to have work and then I'm going to just be uploading YouTube videos and have a good time. And yeah, the consistency will be back. I know I sound like a broken record at this time, but it will be. All right, you got to trust my word because I'm a man of my word most of the time. All right. But nonetheless, we did, it looks like we did get some weekly awards for our performance last week. Of course, OBJ had four receiving touchdowns, eight receptions, 154 yards, and Jabril Peppers had 11 tackles, two picks, and a touchdown. I also will be getting a PC soon, but I think, um, like, I went in store to places like Best Buy and stuff like that, and they didn't really have the quality that I was looking for in store. Like, it's, it's tough. A lot of pc parts are like all sold out everywhere but i did find a website i should be getting a pc in like four or five weeks once i get that pc you guys are gonna be streaming a whole lot on twitch on youtube i'm gonna be playing uh the modded like college football and the college basketball so it's gonna be a good time the channel will be on the rise soon it might have taken a little slow steady turn you know the views might be down but i don't even care about that i'm just trying to have fun out here you guys already know trying to inspire just trying to bring joy to people and the viewers but here we go at lambo field 4-0 against the three and one green bay packers i'm calling it right now we're going undefeated all the way to the super bowl winning back-to-back -back super bowls aaron Rodgers is still the quarterback of the green bay packers he must be like at least 38 39 years old so i don't know if he's still gonna have the same type of ability as he might have had three years ago but i'm sure he's still gonna provide us many many problems for our defense but if they are looking to run it you guys already know the deal we have the best run defense in the league. I don't care what the stats say. I always got confidence in our run defense. Look at this. Oh, oh, we're getting sacked. We're getting him sacked. I should say by Lorenzo Carter gets pressure on Aaron Rodgers right away. And that's what happens when you have a fire secondary. You got a fire front seven. Like, what is an offense supposed to do against that? Like, you really got no type of options available. And here we see third and 18. We're going to drop back in the zone. Leighton Vanders. I feel like a pick six is coming, if I got to be honest. I'm following the tight end. Aaron Rodgers, a cross body hit his running back Spiller, and he's going to pick up the 19 yards. You hate to see it. You really hate to see that. Letting, letting up a third and 18. But nonetheless, our defense, you know, we got to get it together. I don't know who the Spiller guy is. I think it's the brother of CJ Spiller who went, to, who also went to Clemson. Oh, and he finds Devontae Adams, and I'm just trying to think of who the Spiller guy is. Logan Ryan got beaten coverage is tough, man. Devontae Adams got to be top. He's got he's got to be in your top three receivers in the league. Uh, it might be it might be like him, Tyreek, uh, to him, Tyreek, D Hop. Like I don't know. There's so many good receivers in the league right now. Let's see if we could pick off Aaron Rodgers. That's a dot right to number 80. I'm not sure who that's gonna be. It is Reynolds. Is that Josh Reynolds from the St. Louis Rams? Not the St. Louis, the Los Angeles Rams. Just say, but let's keep blitzing. But it's probably not a good thing to continuously blitz against Aaron Rodgers because as we've seen on this drive alone, he will find the open man. And, you know, if our if our defense doesn't get home in time, uh, there will be people open downfield. And uh, I don't know if, I don't know if we want to take those chances. They got a one wide out set, bringing a man in motion. I feel like he's throwing to Devontae. Uh, oh, I thought it was going to be a play action. That's a good tackle from Leighton Vanders to the 10-yard line. It's going to bring up a third and seven. I mean, if they convert on third and 18, this third and seven is a cakewalk for them. But they are going five out, five wide outs. Nobody in the backfield running a zone. Oh, I see that. Get him. Oh, dude, that's crazy. I went with like a hit stick and Rodgers just ate it from Logan Ryan. But uh, nonetheless, it is fourth and second, fourth and two. And they're going to go with the field goal. So they were showing a lot of momentum right there. But it stalls out and they're going to have to get three points on the board. And you already know how deadly our offense is so i don't know if field goals are going to be able to beat us on this day especially with our new quarterback kyler murray him and Odell beckham jr uh the first start together four touchdowns between the two of them so i'm excited to see what's going to go on with the rest of this game 
first play of the game, though, we're going to hand off to Saquon Barkley. We really want to establish him on the ground. I feel like we haven't done a good, or I haven't done a good job at play calling him enough early on. Uh, I've just been pass, 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 and sometimes when you pass a lot, and, you know, the receivers and the quarterback aren't on the same page, it could lead to a large deficit because if you have incompletions, um, the defense is going to come back on the field rather quickly. What do we got? We got B. Oh, he almost read that the linebacker had to pick between OBJ and Darius Slayton, and I decided to go with Slayton because I saw him shading more over towards OBJ's side. Uh, let's go with some double slants, and let's send OBJ all the way deep. And let's send Ingram deep too, so that that safety back there has to make a decision because I feel like both of them are going to be open. He made the choice with Ingram. We got OBJ one-on-one -on -one coverage. He makes the aggressive catch, and he comes down with it. That was so... Ask, that was so that was so that was so I can't even speak that was so insane but that looked exactly like I was gonna say it was so esque like is esque I feel like I didn't use it in the right term it was so from it was so similar I should just say to the catch against the Cowboys just dropping back I actually wasn't at all I can't believe I even compared it to the Cowboys catch that that was a good catch right there but it was nothing compared to the Cowboys catch I feel like the angle like him going backwards was the same but. He didn't come down with one hand on it. And there we go. My controller disconnects. Everything is just in shambles right now. That's what happens when you haven't uploaded for like two weeks. Your commentary, it suffers. I see. Let's just hit Saquon Barkley. Oh, he stays in bounds. He gets to the four-yard line. Okay, here we go. Let's get a let's get a touchdown. Let's hand it off to Saquon Barkley. Second and goal. I feel like back-to-back -back handoffs here. Oh, my gosh. It was that Frank Clark just blew up our center, our new center, Marquise Pouncey. He got in the backfield really quickly, but Saquon Barkley was aware of that, and he was able to sprint to the edge. Let's hand it off again, though. Oh, I don't like this. I want to throw a fade. Let's throw a fade to o OBJ. Let's give him a nice fade. All right, Kyler, come on. Oh, they what? We know, guys, we know. We know I throw 15 interceptions a season. No, not even 15, like 30. But where, what happened? He was on a fade. Why'd he throw it like... Hold on, hold on. Guys, honestly, I don't really think that was all my fault. Like, he was on a fade. OBJ ran the right route. He's oh, he's going to be open. He's wide open. You just got to throw it corner. Look at all the space right here. And Kyler threw it here. Why? I don't, I, I don't know. Isn't it supposed to be a fade to the end zone? Or to the corner of the end zone? But whatever, it's fine. It's fine. I maybe just, you know, they're new teammates. They don't got that 100% bulletproof chemistry yet, all right? So is Aaron Rodgers going to take over on uh, after the interception? Well, let's just hope they continue to run the football. Because I'd rather them run it 20 times than Aaron Rodgers throws it 30 times. After another sack from Lorenzo Carter, the Packers are going to be faced with a third and 17. I'm dropping back in zone. Woodrow Peppers or the middle of the field. They're just going to dump this off. They accepted the feed. They said there's no way we're going back-to-back -back drives converting on a third and 17 and third and 18. But our defense, they're really good to, uh, to have the back of Kyler Murray right there and get the stop when they needed it. And they're going to punt it off to us. That's probably going to be the end of the first quarter with five seconds left on the clock. And 3-0, uh, very, very, very low scoring first quarter. Third and six. We're going to try hitting OBJ on this slant route. Hopefully he gets open. He normally does. It's kind of covered. I got Evan Ingram though on the short route. And he's going to pick up the first down. That's all we needed. You know, it's not always about the chunk plays. It's about just converting on first down and keeping the drive alive. Let's go with a little inside zone. Saquon Barkley. Maybe they won't see the, the run come since we've passed like five straight times. We'll get in a juke in there. But he does not pick up a whole ton of yards. He's got four rushes for 15 yards. Let's go with a little play action now. We've been running it. We've been passing it. OBJ is going to be deep. He's got to beat the safety and the corner. They're playing back on him. They're expecting the deep shot. This might not have been the best play call, but we do have Darius Slayton wide open. He's going to catch after the run. Darius Slayton, I tried splitting those two defenders, but Darius Slayton does not have that Tyreek speed in his locker. But that's fine. That's all good. He's been having a really, really good career in his first three seasons. I've played with him. Let's go back to running the football off to Saquon Buck. we got to keep a good balance in between the two. Some bad blocking yet again from our receivers. Only picks up four yards right there yet again. So with another play action. I feel like I called this play and it never works. I usually end up getting sacked. But maybe I won't get sacked this time. And we got, who is a Shep? Shep over the middle of the field and he takes it to the one yard line. And we will not make the same mistake back-to-back -back drives. We will be running the football four times in a row if I have to from the one yard line. I'm not passing it. I'm not throwing the fade. Although I'm tempted. I'm very tempted to, oh gosh, this is not going to work. Is it Frank? It's Kenny Clark, not Frank Clark. My bad. 
I just feel like he's gonna blow this play up. Is he? Saquon, ooh, what a block from the rookie fullback Epps. And he gets Saquon Barkley into the end zone. We're gonna go up 7-3 at Lambeau Field. Honestly, I'm pretty happy we're playing at Lambeau Field early on in the season because we know how cold Lambeau Field be getting in those late seasons, in those late months in the season. But nonetheless, 7-3, midway through the second quarter. Let's see if our defense can continue their dominating performance. The Packers are faced with a third and short. We're bringing the blitz. I got a feel in their hand this off to Spiller for whatever reason, even though they got Devontae. They're sending Devontae in motion, though. It's not an end around. It's a handoff. And with one arm, Lorenzo Carter sticks it out. And he gets CJ Spiller or Isaiah Spiller to the ground. He's got two sacks. And he stopped the running back on a third and short. Lorenzo Carter, man, he's been having a phenomenal year. And I remember last se last year, before last season in real life, in preseason, everyone was talking about he's looking good in training camp. Unfortunately, I'm pretty sure he tore his ACL. Um, so I'm hoping that he comes back this season because we really need edge rushers. But I feel like X, like an edge, uh, like a rotation of like X Men, uh, Lorenzo Carter will probably like pick up uh, edge rusher in the draft. Like it won't be that bad considering the rest of our defense is really really top tier. I believe we're gonna Saquon Barkley here. Saquon Barkley right on the cut and he picks up the first down. Nice little ten yard strike from Kyler Murray. Let's go with a let's go to play action wide receiver in. It's a deep shot for Darius Slayton. He had nobody. Oh man. On the run. What a dot. That's what we were missing with Daniel Jones. He, Daniel Jones is not making that throw on the run right there. That was an absolute bullet point pass to his wide open receiver. Old Dub Beckham Jr. Let's send Old Dub Beckham Jr. deep. And Darius Slayton's already going deep. I think I might hit Saquon Barkley at the backfield though. We're going to scramble. Kyler Murray. Look at the space in front of him. Kyler Murray. And we're going to slide. We're going to keep it safe. No reason for our new quarterback to take any hits in our new offensive system. You know, we don't want him to be paranoid that we're going to roll him out every single play. Uh, we did that pretty often with Daniel Jones. I'm not going to lie. But look at OBJ wide open. Catch after the run. OBJ. Oh, if I knew how to hurdle. I don't know the hurdle control button. But if I knew how to hurdle, I was definitely going for that hurdle over Jair Alexander. One of the best corners in the game. I knew he was going to tackle me for sure. But we are at the seven-yard line. And this Giants team, this whole season, has been making it look like I'm playing on, like, pro. A rookie. But as I show you guys all the time, this is all Madden. You guys saw me struggle in the, in the beginning. I was struggling heavy. Everyone was roasting me. But Kyler Murray is going to run this in for a touchdown. 14-3 to at the closing in on the second quarter. Closing in on the first half of this football game. Guys, the defense is there. The offense is there. I built a pretty nice team. You can't lie. I developed a lot of our players. Darius Slayton. I developed our whole line. While I trade away Golden Tate. Got Brian O'Neal. I developed Evan Ingram. I developed... Who else did I develop? Uh, Xavier McKinney has developed well. Jabril Peppers developed well. Lorenzo Carter is going to get a sack monster. I picked up Demario Davis, Lane Vander. So this whole team is amazing. We already got Dexter Lawrence, Dalvin Tomlinson. You know, unfortunately, he left in real life. But he's still here with us. And we got Leonard Williams. I don't even know how I'm paying all these guys. Like, I don't know how I'm still under the cap. Uh, kind of doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but... It is what it is, I guess. Aaron Rodgers going to empty backfield. Two-minute drill for him. He's got this man. Oh, it's because I had that deep route covered. Oh, we forced the fumble. I went to strip, and it actually worked for once. That's never worked for me. Geno Stone with the fumble recovery. You guys know that guy's story. I think it was an undrafted rookie. I picked him up. Got a pick six against the Ravens in his rookie year. Look at this. The strip from DeMario Davis on number 85. I'm not sure who the number 85 guy is. But let's keep putting points up on the board. OBJ might be wide open on this route. Hold up. Wait a second. Wait a second. OBJ, catch after the run. Can you split between the two of you? You can't. But he does take it to the 11-yard uh, the line. And Kyler Murray almost has 200 passing yards in the first half alone. Kyler Murray, I wish he was the quarterback for the Giants. We hit Saquon Barkley, short route. He runs a couple people over. Brings it to the 3-yard line. We're going to keep going with his no huddle. We'll play RPO, RPO, and yeah, oh, this is going to be a good one right here. Get the blockers there. Yep, we got that block right there. I, I noticed, like, a lot this past season, a lot of teams have been running that play near the end zone. It's just the RPO. You just have three blockers out there against two corners or something like that, and you just make your receivers block while your uh, your pass catcher catches it. I think I saw the Steelers running it a lot to uh, chase Claypool. I think the Niners ran it to Debo. Probably, probably a lot of teams ran it. But um, 
Dude, San Francisco 49ers, man. Look at them. They're going to be... Uh, they trade up to the three spot. I don't know if they're taking Mac Jones or Justin Fields or Trey Lance. If I was them, if you're trading all the way up there, you you got to get an absolute beast. A player that's got a high ceiling. I'm taking Trey Lance at the number three spot. We could look back at this video and laugh at me, you know. But uh, I would take Trey Lance at number three. Uh, if I had to be honest, I don't think Mac Jones is going to be anything too, too crazy. Especially not to move heaven and earth like they did. But uh, Aaron Rodgers, he's still rifling. Down 21-3. to They love to see it. These games are being closed out in the first couple quarters. You know, it's not even coming. Well, so, well, usually I get a big lead and then I just somehow like just start fumbling it, you know, towards the end of the game. But let's just, they're taking timeouts. Make sure we don't give up a touchdown here, especially. We know Aaron Rodgers is very well known for his Hail Marys at Lambeau Field at the end of, at the end of quarters. So let's make sure he doesn't get another one off. And they hit a running back again. They're going to convert and get the first down. But they're going to waste all their timeouts. We're going to save it. They go and save it. 30 seconds left on the clock. They're going to keep playing deep. Aaron Rodgers steps up and he throws it away. Unfortunate for the Packers. They're going to have to settle for yet another field goal. It's going to be 21 to 6 at the end of the first half. It's not looking too promising for the Packers. So I think they came into this ballgame with a 3-1 or 4-1 record. So this is not a team that was going to be an easy cakewalk. We already know what Aaron Rodgers is capable of. And we're going to be re receiving the ball. There goes my controller disconnecting yet again. But we're going to be receiving the ball to start the second half. So if we score here, the floodgates are definitely open. Look at the Cowboys winning 28-0 over the Eagles. So it might be us and the Cowboys running to uh, or fighting to get uh, first place in the division. But let's throw OBJ on another deep route. Slaying on the slant. Everything else looks good. And with Kyler, we're going to step up in the pocket. We're going to run for it. Kyler Murray. And we're going to slide. Beautiful slide right there. Pick up 15 yards, three rushes, 45 yards. Kyler Murray, the ultimate quarterback. I have high hopes for him this season. Uh oh, what do I do? Oh, I see why. Kyler Murray, aggressive catch. Saquon unable to hold on to him. That was a perfect throw from Kyler Murray away from his body. Maybe it could have been more accurate so Saquon didn't have to go upfield and he could just stay towards the sideline and made sure he secured the catch. That's fine. No worries about that. Kyler Murray scrambling. Scrambling. Oh, he's going to pick up some yards. Look how fast the man is. He picks up seven yards out of nothing. And that's how he plays in real life. Like, you'll think, like, oh, we got him in the backfield. We got him in the backfield. And he just runs with his legs, bro. He's so quick, man. Oh, Shep over the middle of the field. Ooh, if OBJ got that block, he was going to the house, man. Look at Kyler Murray, 13 of 15. His efficiency has been off the charts this game. What do we got? We got Y out the backfield. Saquon Barkley go with a truck. He trucks one man. And he gets tackled by the other. We're just going to keep going. No huddle. I'm going to keep running the same play slants. I like having both my running backs come out the backfield. Got number 27. I think it's, what's it, Javon Leak? Yeah, or Ely. It's Ely. I don't know if that's a rookie or not. I guess we got rid of Javon Leak. But uh, nonetheless, look at these. These plays, they just keep working. The same two plays. Saints go, and then I switch to slants. But let's, let's not be boring. Let's go with the play action. Shep over the middle of the field. I've been going no huddle, so they must be gassed at this point. I'm throwing a jump ball. Oh, no. Um, I was thinking like a Derek Jeter just off your back foot. Just throw it across field. Uh, they about to show me the replay. I wanted to go to OBJ. Let me show you. Let me. I just want to show you guys my idea. You know, what I, what I wanted to do here. Kyle, play action. She said one on one coverage, OBJ over there, but Kyler, when he threw it, some Derek Jeter, yeah, he just he just didn't get it anywhere in this area. And instead, he threw it in the middle of the field. Which, I mean, if this was right, real life, he's getting it over to OBJ. You know what I mean? He's getting it over there. But uh, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. All right, he's got two interceptions, it's fine. It's all good. Let's see if the Packers can take over and uh, get. A th I think they need a touchdown. I think a, a um, I think a what's it called? I think a field goal at this point in time. It's not going to do them any favors, and they still run the football. Seven rushes, 13 yards. I think Aaron Rodgers has like no incompletions, so I don't know why they just don't keep passing the ball. It just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, most of his completions have been uh, short, like five, six yards. Hey, that still gets the job done, like get those type of completions, like over the middle of the field, like short plays. 11 for 12, you know, he's, he's near perfect this game. Dude, my controller just keeps disconnecting. I don't know what's going on. 
third and five near the Green Bay Packers midfield. Uh, this is the money play on third down. We should have Evan Ingram. We don't. They played, honestly. Oh, we truck him. And Saquon looks like he got the first down, but they played that perfectly. Like, like they covered both Evan Ingram and Saquon Barkley, where I like to go on that play. It's going to be fourth and inches. We're going to go for it. Come on, guys. You think, you think I'm punting on fourth and inches? You got, you've seen me go for it on, like, fourth and seven. I'm not punting it on fourth and inches. Come on, Saquon. You just need to get an inch. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. oh, he keeps the legs going, and he does pick up the first. I think he got like two yards right there. It was enough. It was enough. Now, let's go with a play-action shot. Who do we got? Shep, Slayton. Looks like they might be bringing the blitz, or they're faking it. Not. Nah, they're definitely bringing the blitz. It's good coverage. OBJ, one-on-one. -on -one. Ooh, he almost mossed that corner. I'm surprised. I don't know why uh, Jair Alexander is not matched up against OBJ in that type of scenario. We'll lob it to him. See if he's got the speed. That's a terrible, terrible just flag on the play, though. Could be defense pass interference, but that's just... At this point, pass interference. On the defense, it is defensive pass interference. Where are we going to get at the one-yard line? We're going to decline it, or we're going to accept it on our on the two-yard line. All right, so, you know, it would have been... I don't think it would have been a completion, but definitely wouldn't have been an interception. But nonetheless, we're at the two-yard line of the Green Bay Packers. Make it a 28-6 ball game. Saquon. Beat him to the edge, Saquon. Oh, my gosh. Where's that 4-2 time, bro, that you run in the 40s? All right, that's fine. OBJ on the slant. This should work. This should work. Odo Beckham will burn this corner. I try to make sure those line. I, I got to make sure I pass it before he gets to the linebackers, and then, then the linebackers going to have a cover. OBJ, yep, he burned him. But there is a flag on the play. I'm not sure exactly what this might be. It might be offensive pass interference this time. He might have pushed off to get open, but let's see. What the call is. Pass interference on the defense again. So let's decline that. Lakeem Williams. And OBJ does end up getting his touchdown that I said earlier on this drive. He might get and that he deserved. And there we are. 28-6 to up at the end of the third quarter. The Packers are in a very threatening situation. 28-6. to uh, It looks like they might score a touchdown. They might get their first touchdown of the game. But if, if they go for a field goal here... The game is definitely over. It's do or die for them. Spiller throws a man off, and he does end up getting the touchdown. So this does make things a lot more interesting. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to go about this. I'm going to try. Like, if they get this this two-point conversion, it's a two-possession game. They get a stop, a touchdown, bang, one-possession game. Um, so I think we're going to have to play this really smart. I got to make sure. Oh, they don't even get the two-point conversion. What a tackle from James Bradbury. I think I got to make sure to not have a turnover on this drive. Like, that's easy. That's all I need to do. Do not turn the ball over. Try to take up as much clock as you possibly can and secure this victory because, hey, the stats are cool and all, but you know what's better than stats? Getting that win and getting that undefeated season. Third and seven. We've done a pretty good job at wasting the clock. We're at the Green Bay Packers 42-yard line with three minutes left on the clock. If we secure this first down, it looks pretty much over. OBJ with the middle of the field, and he gets the safe, secure catch. Kyler Murray, 21 of 26. Like, has Daniel, did Daniel Jones ever have that type of performance for us? I don't think so. But uh, we're going to keep running this ball. This is what I've been doing with Saquon Ball. He's just running it. And usually he gets the first down on the three rushes. Or Ely comes in and he picks up the first down. But the Packers, their defense just could not get the job done today. And neither could their offense. Settling for way too many field goals. Only scoring one touchdown. And bang. That's that one player, Kenny Clark. He's played so good this game. That's going to hit the two-minute warning. And boys, that should be game. Let's, let's go for a little deep shot. Let's see if we get something exciting going here. I'm not going to run the football on third and five. Go in the gun formation. Let's go play action post. And let's send OBJ on a slant. Because he might be wide open here. Slayton's on a streak. They're playing it really back, though. OBJ, secure catch. He gets both feet inbounds. What a throw from Kyler Murray. And what a route from Ola Beckham Jr. And awareness to see exactly where he was on the field to make sure he get both the inbounds at the same time. It does stop the clock, but that's fine. It doesn't really matter at this point. We got the game all secured. Kyler Murray, though, what do we got? We got Kyler. We got Kyler. OBJ. All right. We got it. We got out of it. We got We got. We threw the ball away before we got sacked, which was fine. So X dig. What do we got? OBJ off. I'm throwing the solo to the back of Jr. You kidding me? He's beating his man off the line. He's scoring a touchdown. Murray's going to look to throw this thing. And he catches it. And what I say is beating his man off the line and he's scoring a touchdown because nobody, nobody in this virtual football game, Madden 21, can stop Oda Beckham Jr. Like, that's just a fact. Like, I, it excites me, to be honest, 
because the Giants did sign Kenny Galladay. So I'm really excited to play with Kenny Galladay, especially on next gen. I will be 100% securing next gen um, before Madden 22. I just haven't upgraded to next gen because like I see no reason. Like there's no like the only game that's different from current gen to next gen is like 2K. Nobody plays like everybody despises the next gen 2K. So there's, there was really to me no reason to upgrade to next gen. Aaron Rodgers ends up getting a consolation touchdown to Wordermeyer, this tight end. He's honestly been probably the one bright spot of this whole Packers team in this game. He's, he's caused us a decent amount of problems at the tight end position, but nonetheless, the game has been wrapped up and over for yet a while. Let's see if we can pick him off, and we sack him with Dexter Lawrence. And guys, that's probably going to be the ball game. Uh, they're being losers. They're being losers. I'm handing it off. If you're going to be like that. All right, fine. That's how the ball game's going to end, though. A 35-18. Very, very, very... Uh, if my controller wants to stop disconnecting, the game can end. Did just disconnect, like, in a matter of two seconds? Okay, is it good? All right. The game ends, 35-18. We, we just proved to be the superior dominant team throughout the whole game. On all aspects, special teams, offense, defense, quarterback play, receiver play. Blocking for the pass, blocking for the rush, blocking for everything. All right, and then the defense, the defense did what the defense had to do. We held them to only getting field goals, and you can't get only field goals against our type of offense. It's not going to work at all. But uh, nonetheless, let's take a look at the final game stats between all the players. Kyler, 24-30, three touchdowns, two picks. Aaron Rodgers, 20-22, practically perfect. The touchdown, no interceptions. Rushing the football, Saquon had a pretty bad day at the offense. And Isaiah Spiller, uh, 3.7 average uh, compared to Saquon's 3.0. Unlucky. Receiving OBJ, 10 receptions, 184 yards, two touchdowns. Widermeyer went for 769 at a tub. Uh, none, of the, none of our other receivers really did too, too much. Uh, going to the defensive side of the football, total tackles, uh, Jair, DeMario, and Lane Vanders. Tackles were lost three for DeMario Davis. Interceptions or sacks, I should say. Lorenzo had two, Kenny Clark had one, and interceptions, one for Darnell Savage, and one for Adrian Amos. Guys, if you didn't make it to the end of the episode, Truly, truly appreciate it. And if you guys did enjoy the episode, enjoy getting, seeing us get another victory, make sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your boy, King Show 7. I'm out. Peace.